If your KTM or Husqvarna two-stroke TPI sounds like this at steady throttle, <laughs> stay tuned because I'm going to be explaining a possible cause and an easy fix. This is my 2019 KTM 250 TPI. Uh, it's done just over 50 hours now and I've had uh, zero issues with it. But I do know some people have had some problems and I know of a couple of people um, that had one problem in particular uh, which has quite an easy fix but uh, the cause might be a little ob obscure. So I thought I'd share with you uh, the cause and the fix in this video. So if your bike is running okay, this is what it should sound like at steady throttle. But I personally know of two people now that have had exactly the same issue with their TPI. Uh, the video clip that follows was sent to me by Ryan and it clearly shows uh, a problem at uh, steady throttle uh, where the bike behaves very erratically. To cut a long story short, uh, the cause of the issue in both cases turned out to be the crankcase pressure sensor uh, tube fitting was blocked. So I'm zoomed in here on the engine and uh, this is the upper rear part of the crankcase. You can see the reed block here. And uh, this tube goes up to the crankcase pressure sensor, which is housed up above. And uh, if you take this uh, tube off, uh, there's a fitting, a metal fitting, uh, which uh, in both cases was blocked. So Andy sent me this photo, uh, which shows uh, the fitting of his bike. And uh, you can see here that it was completely blocked with this uh, oily residue debris, um, which he pushed out with a uh, drill. So if the hose or fitting becomes blocked, it means the crankcase pressure sensor, which is up above, can't read the correct uh, crankcase pressure. And uh, it will interfere with the uh, fueling. And as you saw in the uh, initial video, it will result in the bike running very poorly. Um, other symptoms may include uh, fueling errors being thrown. So if you're experiencing the symptoms of this issue, definitely check out the crankcase pressure sensor hose and fitting and make sure they're clean and clear. And uh, to proactively avoid the issue, I'd recommend every time you do a top end overhaul uh, to take the crankcase pressure sensor hose and fitting off, inspect it and uh, clean it out. And that way you can minimize any issues you're going to have while riding.